Alright, how's it going guys? So first off, I'd like to apologize for the lack of uploads recently, and that's just because of school and family. I've had a lot going on recently. But anyways, I've found some time tonight, so I thought I'd make a video on how to install a keylogger onto anyone's computer using a program called Artimax. So first off, what you want to do is download Artimax. I have a media fighter link in the description for you to download, which is right here, Artimax Keylogger. And once you download this, I actually already have it installed. And I already tried to make this video, but it failed, so I have to redo it now. But anyways, um, if you look in your task tray, once Artimax is installed, it will show up in your task tray. And I'm actually just going to reinstall it for the video, because there is a step before this. So if we go to our... Um, once you download your Artimax, you'll get the zip file right here, and then you'll get a setup file right here. And you can double click on that and there will be a password which I have right here. And the password for that is the niche with two H's. So I'm going to double click on this and you can just enter in the password which is the niche with two H's and select OK. And then run the setup. And in the setup you can just press next, 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 next. But I actually already have it installed. But anyways once you install it it's pretty easy you just click on the task tray. And this is also sort of a crack because um, normally you would only get the trial version, but I'll show you how to get the free version, I mean the full version for free. So you want to, um, once it shows up in your task tray, which it will after you install it, you can right click on the task tray application and then enter registration key. And I actually already have the registration key. I have someone else's that um, will work for an unlimited amount of people, so you can enter those and I have the niche for the registration name and this for the registration key but I actually already um, entered all this information so I'm not going to do it again but um, yeah and after you enter that you can go to your about when you right click on the Artimax application and it will show you that I have the full version all right, so next step is to next step is to create the actual application that you can put on the target's computer. So what you want to do is uh, again go to your task tray and right click on the Artimax keylogger and then select remote installation. And now you can select next and next and then next and run windows on startup which means if you want the program to you know start back up after your target reboots their machine so um like normally if you uncheck it the program will stop once they shut off their computer and it won't work again but if you want it to work unlimited times even when they reboot their computer you can select this and i'll just leave that selected and then for control you can put how often um you want the program to send logs to your email and i want to uh, send every one minute and the delivery method we're going to put email and the log format html so pretty much all default other than this send logs every you can choose the amount of minutes and oh yeah also you should uncheck this send only if log size exceeds 50 kilobytes we're going to uncheck that because we want to send no matter what and we're going to press next and next again and now you want to press back two times i don't know why this didn't show up all like when you press next but it doesn't so i'm going to go back And now you want to enter the email that you want the, the logs to send to. And I actually made an email for the sole purpose of this video. And I named it logger logged at gmail.com. And you can enter the password for your email. And then select test. And if it is successful, it will say the test of email delivery has been completed successfully. Alright, sorry about that. My video recording software just ended. But anyways, what you want to do is once you enter your email and it successfully uh, tested it, you can check your inbox of the email for the confirmation that it works. So I'm going to go to my logger logged email and if I check my email, uh, this email saying that it's a test will show up in your inbox. And I'm just going to exit all that. So now that we know that it works good, and we can select next. And if they do have a webcam, you can capture images of their webcam. 
but I don't even have a webcam so this is unnecessary but I'm just going to select next and now you can customize what you want the program that you want the target to open to look like so I'm going to save this on my desktop I'm just going to save it as hack and I'm going to press save and I can change the icon to whatever I'd like I can even make a custom icon but I'm just going to select one of the defaults I'll just use this and select OK and now if we select next we can uh, read the summary information so when someone clicks hack.x keylogger will be invisibly installed it will start launching together with windows in the invisible mode it will be invisible in the system tray, task manager, start menu, auto start list, list of installed software it will also hide its installation folder each one minute sends to loggermclogged.gmail.com via email to enable slash disable the invisible mode so now we can select finish alright so if you do have antivirus which I do you want to make sure that it's disabled alright guys so I got the keylogger working it was just an issue with my antivirus you want to make sure that you have your antivirus disabled but anyways what you can go ahead and do is open the filehack.exe or whatever you named the keylogging file and now that we clicked it, it is running and it is um, beginning to track your keylog so but anyways if you guys enjoyed please like this video and subscribe I would appreciate it and I'll see you next time